Hey y'all, it's me, back with another video. <laughs> I thought I'd come outside before it started raining. Hopefully it ain't gonna rain today. I didn't even check. It's cloudy, but I don't think it's gonna rain. God, Gizmo always coming out here pooping. Look like I got a Gizmo hair. Oh, is that it? I keep seeing it. Yeah, or that's her gray hair. Wait, where is it? Oh, there it is. That was getting on my nerve. My long, luxurious, curly hair. You know my hair is so curly and luxurious and thick and long. It's, it's so curly. I just don't know what to do with it. <laughs> if you know, you know. Um, I want to... Oh, my God. Gizmo, you done stuck up the whole outside. I want to uh, speak on something that Cheryl Gabrowski was talking about yesterday. About how some people in... They, call, they want to call it the tea sector or the mukbang sector on these panels and stuff just go off. I mean, to the point where I can't, the majority of these panels, I can't watch this stuff because I cannot sit up and watch people argue because their arguing eventually just starts to sound like static to me. Especially when it's two or three people trying to talk at the same time. I can't watch that mess. But you know, one thing I've noticed is that if people didn't, you can tell the people that did not receive any validation when they were young. If you don't validate your children while they're young and boost their self-esteem while they're young, they will be adults grown adults in their 50s still out here looking for validation and doing anything possible to get that validation. I watched a video yesterday of a content creator who, who now is trying her best to, you know, garner people's attention and get people's attention. Like coming on, doing makeup, sticking eyelashes up here, you know, and not where they're supposed to be. And I really felt like if the person had just came on and did a real makeup routine and did makeup like they were supposed to do, which is normal makeup, that would have been a decent video because the person doesn't do makeup all the time. But to come in and, you know, just distort the makeup and put eyelashes way up here and just make themselves look crazy, you're looking for validation. You know, like that song says, looking for love in all the wrong places. Like these people are not laughing with you. They are laughing at you. And not only are they laughing at you, they're looking at you like something is going on. You did not receive enough validation as a child. And in your adult lives, you are out here searching on the internet to be validated. I don't care about these people. It, the internet is really changing some of y'all. Like some of y'all will really be out here acting strange for some change. You know, a lot of people say money is the root of all evil, but it's not money. It's the love of money. It's you wanting money so bad that you are willing to do anything. You're willing to act out of character. You're willing to act a fool in front of people. You're willing to do anything for money. And it's sad. 
You can tell the people that have never had anything that are out here. I mean, we're all struggling. We're all struggling. But there's just certain things I'm not willing to do for a dollar. I would rather try my best to help somebody than hurt somebody or have myself out here looking crazy just to earn 25 cent on YouTube. Is it really worth it in the long run? Is it really worth you out here just looking crazy and disrespecting yourself and making yourself look stupid for this little bit of money that you're getting on YouTube? Because it's not that much. It's really not. Adrian, we sick of them greens. We sick of hearing about them greens. And we sick of hearing about your hair. Just sick of it. Let's move on. That you have run the green storyline into the ground. Okay? Let's do something else. And to me, it's like when you have a car, the sky is the limit when it comes to your content. Go out here and do like some of these other people. Go sh go shopping. Go to stores. You don't have to buy anything. But go window shopping. If I didn't have that fear of driving and I knew my way around this city like I knew my way around the city that we used to live in, I would be all over the place. But I, I still don't quite know my way around yet. And the stores around here are limited. Like we have Ross and TJ Maxx. We just got a home goods recently. What else is over there? Target. I mean, it's not a whole whole because I don't live close to like a mall or anything like that. But you don't have to be on here acting crazy and, and showing out. There's so many other things that you can do. Like, okay, you you on a natural hair journey. And even on a natural hair journey, is so much more you can talk about than comparing yourself to other people. I've been on a natural hair journey for two years now. And I don't compare my hair to anybody else's. And it's very rare that I even talk about my hair unless I'm telling you guys like about a new product that I'm trying or something like that. But I'm not going to compare my hair to anybody else's hair and try to make it seem like my hair is so much better than somebody else's because it's just hair. At the end of the day, it's just hair. And if you are in your 50s and you're still caught up on how long your hair is and all of this kind of stuff, then yeah, it's something seriously awry. Something ain't right. You know, I, I just don't understand all of these 50 year old people on social media, but I do understand. I do understand because I've studied psychology and sociology and stuff. I do understand why Gizmo, Oh, okay. He ain't gonna let you in because he don't know you there. I do understand why a lot of people do a lot of the things that they do. I do understand it. Like, I see you. And it's crazy that a lot of people think that, you know, they're not... People can't see through them. No, girl, we see you. We see why you're acting the way that you're acting. We definitely see you. We see your childhood trauma. We see your hurt. We see your pain. The majority of people who are on here doing these crazy outlandish things, you can tell a lot of this is related to their childhood. It, it most definitely is. And if you listen to their stories, they will te they will tell it. They have, a lot of them have told it. They have told their stories. They have told us how jacked up their childhood was. And you can see it in their adulthood. 
if you acting out as an adult, especially to the degree that some of you are on here acting out, you had some serious issues in your childhood. I don't think this video is going to have a intro because when I transferred all my files over to that little flash drive thing, unfortunately it took my intro. So my husband is going to have to find my intro and send it back to me so I can uh, start using them on my videos. And I really don't like to upload my video without an intro, but I think we're going to have to do it this time. It don't feel bad out here. It just looks bad. But it's actually a nice day. The roses have started back to blooming. So hopefully this little rain that we was getting, I hope that it's over and it will go back to being warm. I didn't check the weather for the rest of the week, but I'm going to check it and see. Y'all need to get yourself together because, um, yeah, this some of y'all, I don't know. That's it, y'all. I will talk to you guys later. I don't think there's going to be a live today. I did a live yesterday, and then I don't like doing lives every day. For one, YouTube ain't sending out notifications like they're supposed to, and the majority of you are watching the replays anyway. So, I will talk to you guys later. I love you. Bye.